Let me tell you a story. He was just over 20 years old when he left Northern Ireland for Japan. And believe me, it was not easy in the beginning, as he was so used to the old European ways. Cultural and linguistic differences created great challenges to his career ambitions. But as a determined Irishman, he was certain that his qualities and insights, paired with hard work, would be the best medicine. Just like the one he gave to his sweet Aiko three years later, saving her from a fever. In that moment, their destinies were intertwined, never to leave each other again. It was clear to him that their two very different worlds could create something beautifully new if combined. And his business followed the same path. Aiko taught him the language, culture, and traditions of Japan. And in return, he brought to his new land the great respect for workers and the Western technological innovations. You know, there's a name for what he did. Wakon Yosai, Japanese spirit with Western learning. In the following years, he applied this concept in different fields and companies, always surrounded by local partners and co-workers, until his business went to the sea, building solid ships that were able to cover commercial routes in just a few hours, which previously required months of navigation. All of this allowed him to gain prestigious honours and awards, but without the respect for this country, love for its people and a healthy dose of ambition, all of this would not have been possible. The journey of Edward Hazlitt Hunter ends a few years later, but his teachings continue to live on today. The Wakon Yosai, so dear to that ambitious Irishman, inspired our vision in pursuing every day the pioneering goals that are the engine of progress. Every day we value our Swiss heritage, combined with the strength of our international group. Together we look to the future. We are Hitachi Zosun Innova.